Uh, hello, everybody. Sorry for this uh, small uh, technical problem at the beginning of this uh, presentation. Uh, my name is uh, Walter Piske. I'm the sales manager of Southern Europe uh, for uh, Goodwe. Um, first of all, uh, let me thank uh, Kranich Greece uh, for the invitation to this uh, webinar. Um, and we, again, we are sorry to be a little bit uh, late uh, uh, for the startup, but hopefully now uh, all technical problems are solved. So um, we will try to give you uh, a presentation um, in a, let's say, more friendly way to introduce you to Goodwe, our range of product, with especially focus uh, on uh, commercial and industrial uh, uh, application. Together with me will be uh, Mr. Alessandro Fabio, uh, technical manager um, for Greece, uh, uh, Mrs. Giorgia Dolzani, our marketing manager, and uh, Trifonas, uh, Trifonas Pavilidis, uh, which is our service manager for the Greek market. Uh, in case of any question, uh, just uh, uh, type uh, the question in, in the chat. Even if it will be in Greece, no problem, because uh, Trifonas uh, will help us uh, to answer to your question. I can really ask to all the attendees to switch off their uh, microphone, otherwise I will be hearing their voice. So let me um, share now. Solar Academy, I need uh, uh, the authorization to share my screen. I'm not allowed to do that. So let's start. I see uh, quite an interesting number of attendees. Uh, so let's go immediately on our presentation. Uh, first of all, uh, Udwi is uh, um, very uh, proud and honored uh, to give this presentation to all of you and uh, to thank you for your participation at the end of this webinar. You will be asked to answer five easy questions. And among all of those of, of you, which will answer correctly, we will extract three Amazon purchase vouchers uh, for under 50, 150 euro. This is a small joke uh, we are doing with you in the sense that uh, we re really we want to thank you for the participation to this uh, webinar. Um, a second of promotional uh, is this tool. Um, uh, because, uh, uh, sorry, Craig, can you mute your uh, uh, your uh, microphone? Because I'm hearing a lot of noise. Um, so, um, uh, the second uh, promotional we are going to do is the following. We, um, we will provide uh, a, speci a special dedicated discount to all the uh, attendees uh, who has uh, registered to this webinar. Um, this is a message uh, on optimism to the recovery of the market. Uh, Goodwe has been experienced already on its uh, skin, uh, the effect of coronavirus, but now the company has fully recovered. So uh, we're starting, uh, let's say, to transfer this uh, positive message to uh, all of our customers. So because of this, our small contribution for the, uh, contribution for the recovery of the market will be this uh, uh, commercial discount and the detail of this commercial discount will be given by you by Kranich. This will be applied to all the attendees of this webinar uh, for purchase until uh, end of uh, September. Now, let's go uh, to this presentation. First of all, uh, about Goodwe. What we say is that Goodwe is a global player with a strong local presence. So Goodwe started, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, we are based uh, as production and headquarters in China. We are present uh, in all the countries nearby. Uh, we are a consolidated presence uh, in Australia, in India, in all countries of South America, in Mexico. Last year, we entered uh, uh, North America, which is Uni United States and Canada. And in 2018, we have, been, uh, we have opened our European uh, subsidiary in Munich, uh, from which uh, we control all the EMEA area. So from Munich, uh, we have control of all the European countries, uh, all the Iberian, uh, Greece, of course, Italy, France, uh, also Russia and, and the Ukraine, South Africa. So as you see, what, uh, just to repeat, Goodwe is a global player with a strong lo local presence. And in fact, 
regarding the uh, Greek market, we have a pre post sale service first and second level in the person of Trifonas Pavilides. Uh, we have uh, our technical supervisor, uh, which is Mr. Alessandro Fabio, and myself uh, in charge for sales and business development. As I said before, we have also attending uh, Mrs. Giorgia Dolzani, our marketing manager, which will be involved for any promotional activity uh, to push our brand further on the Greek market. Our number in 2019, uh, Goodwill uh, has sold more than four giga of uh, inverter all over the world with a, a turnover over $130,000 million. This means uh, we are talking about very, very big number, very, very le re relevant number. And because of this, we normally say that uh, Goodwill, even though the brand is still under assessment on the market, but is already one of the most important players in the world of uh, uh, inverters uh, uh, in all the PV countries in the world. Our story. Uh, Goodwill has been founded in 2010. Uh, so this year is already 10 years that the Goodwill is on the market. We entered the market the first time in 2012 and in 2014, we already introduced our first hybrid inverter. So uh, nowadays uh, we have uh, the widest uh, range of hybrid inverter for uh, energy storage on the market. And as you can see, it's already six year experience we have on this respect. On the 2016, uh, we started our partnership with, with the BYD, which is one of the major battery uh, producers in the world, and with the Tooth Reinald, uh, which is uh, the certification company, uh, the, which is taking care of for all of uh, the certification of our product. And also in 2016, for the first time, our invert has been displayed uh, uh, through the IKEA uh, shops uh, in uh, several European countries. In 2017, we started our uh, partnership with Taigo. Uh, so uh, in the several of our models of inverter, the Taigo optimizer, uh, which means uh, the technology to optimize the performance of the module, module by module, it's already integrated. As an example, of DNS series and SDT series. So we started this cooperation with Taigo already in 2017. In 2018, we have reached the first uh, a position in terms of uh, sales uh, in the distribution uh, channel uh, in China. And we have opened our European uh, subsidiary, as I already mentioned before. And in 2019, we have opened our new production factory and uh, our new headquarter in uh, China. Our range of products. You can see uh, here a kind of summary about our products. So the main characteristic of our products, first of all, the aluminum body. This is already a first indication about uh, the uh, strength of our product and uh, you can touch the quality of the product thanks to this uh, outside uh, um, skin of aluminum, which is uh, very strong and uh, it gives you directly uh, the indication about the quality of the product. The other thing is that uh, you find in all of our product a modern design not simply because of the aesthetic, but most of all because of the electric and the thermal project, which is behind uh, of the design of this project. All of our products are very compact and uh, very um, lightweight, which means uh, uh, we always develop our products in order to have uh, the highest uh, power density, meaning that we want to have uh, lot of power in a small volume of the inverters. This is uh, the tendency of our um, uh, development of product. And in fact, this is an advantage for the company because thanks to this tendency that we always apply to our new products, all of our products are easy to transport and install, which is the big advantage for uh, the installer. Of course. You can see here, um, uh, a summary of all the products for what we call the, the string inverters. So we have uh, the monophase and the three phases. For the monophase, we have uh, the champions in terms of uh, um, the compact size, which is our excess product, which goes uh, from 700 up to three kilowatt, the range of product. And this front size has just the size of A4. You can imagine, in an A4 like this, uh, 
for a, a, a debt like this, uh, you have a device which is capable to drive between 700 up to three kilowatt uh, of uh, photovoltaic modules. This is, I think, a record um, in this uh, game, let's say, between uh, a producer of inverter. And it's, re in the, it's really a remarkable result. Then uh, we have uh, our NS series, which anyway will be replaced this year by XS, so I don't speak about it. Then we have the DNS series with the dual MPPT. This is with one MPPT. These two series are not commercialized at the moment in Europe. Then we have the SDT G1 and G2 for the range between four and 20 kilowatt, which are our uh, three phase two MPPT devices. Then we have uh, our SMT, which is a three phase with three uh, MPPT in the range 25, 30 and 36 kilowatt. And our giant, which is the MT series in the power between 50 and 80 kilowatt. So as you can see, it's a completely full range starting from 700 watt up to 80 kilowatt. As I anticipated before, our range is completed by the largest number of hybrid inverter on the market. In fact, we, as you can see here, we have uh, nine different models for uh, the energy storage. We have hybrid inverter, which is capable to drive photovoltaic and batteries, monophase ES and EM, and three-phase ET. We have the retrofit, which are used whenever you have already a PV plant and you just want to drive the batteries, which is the SBP series, which is AC retrofit, and also the BH AC retrofit. And then we have uh, uh, an additional monophase. The difference between EH and S, ES, EM is that this is working with high voltage batteries. These are working with low voltage batteries. And then we have also the retrofit on the uh, three phase, which is the BT. And finally, you have, we have the ESA, which is the only one series. So you can see we offer the widest, with the widest range of product for energy storage. We have hybrid inverter one phase, hybrid inverter three phases, working with the, um, low voltage batteries, with high voltage batteries. We have a retrofit low voltage, high voltage, and we have also the only one. So it's really a complete range of application in the field of energy storage. Because of this, we have, we have been appointed as a, the first producer in the world as a storage inverter supplier. We are very proud about this because it's really um, important for us uh, uh, that Wood McKenzie recognized that. So all over the world, we got the uh, prize number one, having a achieved the, the first position in terms of supplier of storage inverters. Another important reference, uh, uh, which I'm proud to uh, report to you, is our uh, um, partnership with the General Electric. Uh, General Electric started one year ago a due diligence across among uh, 30 different companies. And at the end of uh, this uh, due diligence, uh, General Electric uh, uh, chosen, has chosen good uh, the due diligence by General Electric uh, evaluated uh, the quality of the product, the range of product, uh, the performance of the product, uh, the capacity of production, the quality of production, in general, uh, the uh, sustainability of the company. And then uh, after this long due diligence, uh, finally General Electric selected the uh, good. So we are very proud to have established this exclusive international partnership with General Electric. And thanks uh, to this uh, partnership, we will uh, sell uh, uh, three selected uh, product uh, in uh, uh, three countries. This is just uh, the beginning of our cooperation. So we have selected the three product, uh, which we call the high-end or uh, top performance product. It's uh, one hybrid inverter, one three-phase inverter, and uh, one monophase inverter. These three products will be commercialized with the General Electric brand in uh, the United States, in Canada, in Brazil, and in Australia. This is just the beginning of our cooperation, but just to give you the idea that uh, thanks to this uh, cooperation, we will start the promotion of a high-end, so top uh, performance uh, product in the world. 
then we will see how this uh, partnership will uh, evolve. But we are in a, in any way very honored by the fact that both us and General Electric will sell this range of product with the General Electric uh, brand. So, um, other, uh, other uh, important uh, um, award we got, uh, IHS market as an example ranked us among the top six solar inverter global shipment in 2018. But basically, we are always placed among the first 10 in the world, depending on the source of the information, we are close to the fifth position. So Goodwill is really an international, very strong uh, mark, uh, brand already with interesting volume all over the world. We, are, uh, we got for four consecutive years uh, the so-called All Quality Matters Award, which is a, a prize uh, which is uh, given by two final, which analyze the intrinsic quality of the component of uh, the inverter. And for four consecutive years, we got this prize. So we are also honored uh, by this fact, which is a confirmation about the quality of our product. And for, our, for one of our products, we also got the red dot, which is a prize uh, um, regarding the aesthetical design of our product. So, we also got this product and we are interested also to uh, inform customer about this. Now, this was my general presentation about the company. Let me start a brief introduction about uh, the inverter that we promote uh, for the commercial industry and typically for the application on the Greek market, which is our MT series. Our MT series, as you see, uh, is characterized on the outside, but three fun. So the degree of insulation of protection of our inverter is IP65. These three fans are IP68. And thanks to this, uh, the performance, uh, the working performance of our inverter is even enhanced. Uh, you see in this uh, model, we have the display, but we can also have these uh, devices without display. You have integrated due to DC switches, one, uh, because it's a four MPPT system, it's a one a DC every two MPPT. Uh, this is just a summary of the technical specification of our MT series. I will not go into deep detail about that. What I want to highlight for you is, this, is the following. You see how many models we offer for the MT series. Why this? Because we give a lot of flexibility to our customers. So the customer can choose for a DC input voltage as 1000 volt or 1100 volt. You can choose a, a nominal output voltage on the AC side at 400 or 540 volts. You can choose uh, four different power. It's 50, 60, it, there is also the 70 and the 80 kilowatt uh, inverter. You can choose with or without a display. You can choose uh, um, for the bifacial modules. So it's a really a very, very flexible system, which is offering you a lot of different uh, um, models uh, just to match specifically with the, your requirements. And uh, on top of this, uh, and then uh, I will leave uh, the more detailed presentation to my technical colleague, Alessandro Fabio. This is the technical data sheet. I'm not, as I said, going into deep detail, but just have a look uh, to the uh, integrated uh, uh, protection that we have. You see, all of these are already integrated. What does it mean? And this is important for me, which I'm a commercial guy. You save money by taking an empty serial because you don't need to put external protection devices. Everything is almost already included in the device. And as an example, I just mentioned one fact, you don't need the DC boxes. You can just directly enter the inverter with your string. So all of this is an additional advantage from a commercial point of view, but most of all, it's a device with a, 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 a amazing technical characteristic. And because of this, I would like uh, to um, let uh, my colleague Alessandro Fabio to enter a more technical detail, uh, giving you this presentation. Alessandro, are you connected? Yes, I'm connected. Thank you, Walter. 
Alessandro, can you control the, the presentation or do, do you have a copy or you just um, tell me and I go ahead? No, I have a copy. I have a copy. I, I, I can um, share my screen with my the presentation. Okay, okay. good. That, okay, then uh, I, yeah. I stop my presentation. Okay. I think I already did, right? Yeah. No. Wait. Stop your share. Ah, yes, sorry. Okay, I did it. Okay, now, um, okay. Yeah, you can see it. No, Alessandro. Yes. Okay, now? Now, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now? Better? Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. So, first of all, I want to present me. Uh, I'm a technical uh, service and proceeds engineer for Kudbe. Um, I will support the uh, Greek market and also the Italian one, and also part of the South of Europe. Uh, Europe. Um, and uh, with Walter, we we can support you also for my side for the technical part and then with you uh, i want to introduce uh, the solution and the technical points of uh, the mg series so we we starting now uh, with an industrial utility case solution so you can see that uh, we can have a standard one also with uh, 380 volt um, grid connection so this is a standard one so we have also the possibility to switch with some models with four, 500 and 550 volts grid connection to connect to um, middle and high voltage connection with the transformers. And also the possibility with the same models, so with uh, bifacial models. So the, because you know that bifacial models have another um, range of uh, current. So, um, the third possibility is um, also with uh, uh, other um, voltage connection because you know that uh, I have uh, um, uh, also a transformer that need uh, a low voltage, um, so AC um, voltage connection. So like uh, uh, to, um, to 280, 220, 230 volt <coughs> um, um, volt. So uh, you have uh, the, the, the the model is, is very flexible for, about the connection of uh, the AC side. So I, I show you um, a schematic diagrams for, utility, for not utility scale in this case, but for industrial uh, connection, uh, where for example, industrial connection for also self, self consumption is possible. So the empty series have this possibility to, um, so big, big rooftops, for example, um, and so you can uh, produce and uh, self-consumption energy and also at the same time put um, the energy to the grid. The second solution, for example, is with the transformer. So it's more utility scale solution with uh, 500 or 450 volts, uh, I see, so with transformer. Where there was, in, this, in this case you cannot um, make the safe consumption because there's not uh, loads uh, on site. Um, the third solution, for example, is the possibility to choose, for example, the AT series with 100 and 150 kilowatt. 
also 380 volts is good reconnected so with uh, 12 mbps and uh, 100 uh, um, uh, from 100 to, to uh, 120 kilowatt output ac side so the quick connection also can be uh, upper to 500 volt AC, so also for with transformer, for example, uh, for the middle and high voltage connection. And so the, the power can you uh, upgrade so to 136 and uh, 150 kilowatts, also with 12 MPVTs in inputs from the DC side. So I want to show you now the MTC series advantage and um, so from competitors versus competitors, for example. So we have to, the possibility, um, Walter mentioned you also that uh, we have the two possibilities, two choice, so with display or without display. Um, the display normally is also on demand. And uh, the, so the DC fuse and SPD protection are integrated in the inverters on the 12, in this case, or on, on the 12 or um, MPVTs. So in this case, you can uh, connect directly the PV strings directly to the inverter without uh, string boxes. Sorry. About the fans, for example, we have um, EP68 uh, fans that you can change because are, are outside. And uh, these fans um, can also um, uh, using in uh, really extremely, extremely condition. So, um, so we starting our durate curve uh, for over temperature at 50 degrees. So, and also, and uh, uh, 4,000 meters uh, high. So it's uh, really efficient this uh, ventilation system and also um, technology inside of our inverter. So, for example, we have um, a comparison with the concurrence so for the BB fashion models. You can see that uh, for the Input is the same, but with the fashion model, you can also, the output from the AC side is, is more. So, uh, sorry, for the DC side is more. So we can uh, also work to 15 amper, amps. Um, I'll never input of, of the MPTVD um, uh, input. So we have the <clears throat> possibility also for the connection. Um, for example, uh, with some competitors, you need a neutral cable is a must because uh, the technology need the, the neutral cable. But in, in, in our case, we can put or not put, so we can use um, our inverter in uh, a stars or delta connection for the primer transformer, so uh, without any problem. So it's, it's, not, uh, um, it's not the optional. So you can put on site if you need it directly, so with a, a simple connection, so without any specific uh, um, setting. For example, um, the standard, so inverters need uh, sometimes um, an on-site diagnosis on, on site with more of engineers or technical technician on site. But we our, with our technical solution, like uh, for example the SEMS portal, you you can also monitoring on uh, without to go on site the um, the inverters, for example. So the SEMS is a, a, a integrated monitoring system because all the inverters uh, with, uh, have a Wi-Fi connection and can uh, connect it directly with our portal for the monitoring system. So we will speak about the SEMS portal after. So we're starting also with other solution, with other 
Sorry. With our solution, like for example, the multi MPT technology that we that all our inverter and also the the MT series have. Um, this is uh, very important with when you have uh, a big um, PV plants and also with uh, to um, to reduce and, and to optimize uh, all parts of the of the fields. Um, we have four standard we have on the um, MT series four MPT where you can monitor directly with the inverter and uh, so for for this you cannot uh, so you can you cannot use the or, or you don't have to use the um, string box com, uh, com, the combiner box because it's also integrated in the inverter. This is a really uh, important thing because um, you 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 have a cheaper solution about that so, and also easier. So about the DC oversize and uh, AC overloads, for example, um, we have the possibility to oversize the DC, the, the DC side for 50%, okay, and uh, from the AC side, 15%. This means that you can oversize a part of the plants um, more than the concurrence, for example. So with uh, a smaller inverter, you have the more power from the AC side, from DC side to DC side. You can see the difference between the concurrents and the competitors. So in this case, you can, um, so with uh, uh, our technology with uh, 1,100 volt DC input voltage, you can put more models in, uh, per strings, so this is also an advantage. Versus the, com the, the competitors. So, uh, another point, for example, for a large scale, but not only, is also for the starting, uh, the starting voltage. The starting voltage, so we, our inverter, we're starting with 200 volts, so we can also produce more for the beginning of the morning and then in the evening, because we, we have a, a really low voltage for the starting one so to put in the grid, so to, to, grid, to, to feed in the energy to the grid. This is also a really important thing because we, you're starting to produce uh, early in the morning and uh, after in the evening. So. So we'll speak also the lower opex with good solution. Um, we have the um, more possibility, a lot of possibility to uh, mounting. Uh, we can see also in, in the image. So we have uh, wall mounting to two or three typology of them. So you have many possibility. And um, for example, under spanner on the utilities case, case or uh, independent independent also on, on, on rooftops for example you we have a lot of uh, of typology of the mounting also we have uh, in some cases uses this typology directly on the on the PV field mounting mounting on uh, on the on the side of the PV fields and also in some cases we have also the possibility to mounting on the opposite side so um, in the cases, if needed, okay, it's not the optimal one, but it's also one of the uh, one of the possibilities. Um, about the technology inside of our inverter, so um, our inverter are completely internal of uh, all PCBs, and the components are um, modular. So. Um, all of most are, are possible to change. So um, seven possibilities, seven components that you have the possibility to change it. For example, um, the first the fan external without to to to, uh, to switch off the inverter, for example, and also the uh, design of the, um, the fuses inside is our, our plug and play. Um, all all PCBs, uh, electronic PCBs are removable and also exchangeable. Um, 
we have, for example, also the stream monitoring inside of the inverter, integration of the inverter for each MPB. So each MPB depends on the model, have between three or four string monitoring for each MPB. And uh, this monitoring is included, it's not optional. So it's integrated in the, in the inverter and you can monitoring with our same sport. So also up. So the, 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 the good inverter are designed with, uh, for a long life cycle. So um, we, we made in our um, production um, a lot of tests that um, can, for each, for each inverter, for each uh, um, lot of production, uh, we we take one of them and then we can we we test um, a lot of um, possibility. For example, one of them is also the temperature test. One of the um, important things and also the um, climate test. This there is really important. One one of the one of the important is also SAID and spray test. This uncorrosion, um, because it's very important also for the um, uh, ventilator and uh, from the outside for in marine skips. So one of the important things that our products inside that were high quality components. Um, one is the difference between the competitors and I that we use science gears um, feel, um, filter capacitors, so film capacitors that are completely different like uh, the electrolytic one because they have a, a, a more um, efficiency also in high temperature. So, and also the, the, life, uh, the, the, the life cycle of the, um, the capacitor is really high. So the difference of uh, the electrolytic because the electrolytic uh, capacitor um, they, they need a, a, a very stable temperature and not so high, and need a cooling system inside of the inverter that uh, uh, need a lot of energy and, and efficiency of uh, the inverter. So we have also inside, uh, as mentioned before, that we have um, protection, so DC and AC protection inside with um, SPD. Uh, integrated is a type two, of the DC and AC side, and uh, for the communication is uh, type three uh, for the um, um, RS four hundred eighty five communication and PLC communication is uh, also integrated inside. Um, also, this one is a board that you can change, so uh, are sold inside, but uh, you can change also the AC, P AC and DC SPD protection. So we use it a, a, a random dance protection, um, a technology in our inverter. So like uh, uh, in the aviation <laughs> technology, um, we have a double um, DSP, so double um, uh, system size so for, to, to connect, um, to, to protect our uh, inverter and, and also the grid connection. Um, and this is uh, also to improve our life cycle of the inverter, but not only also the um, security of them. So we, we spoke about the typical application scenarios with good resolution. So you have the possibility, for example, I spoke about the uh, set consumption or in this case for power limitation. Uh, in the case that the not low, uh, low uh, consumption, so set consumption is, is, uh, is needed and is ground mounted, you have the possibility to limit the power uh, direct on display. This is a standard, so a standard solution. So you can um, choose this, this possibility direct on display or through the app uh, and you're setting uh, on site for each inverter the, um, the power limit feature. 
So in the case that you have, for example, um, the limit of one, one megawatt, for example, for a PV system of uh, 1.3 megawatt AC, DC side, you can limit on the uh, one megawatt. But if you don't have a limitation of them, you can, for example, put more power in, into the grid if you, if you need it, so if you have the possibility. I don't know if in Greece it's possible, but uh, depends on the norm. But we have the possibility also for, of this option, so this uh, function. So another, for example, um, option that we have for the export power limitation, this is more for a commercial um, rooftop project, is a SEC 1000. This is a um, uh, function, so it's an option that we, we uh, that we use for uh, export limitation um, to manage the um, three phase uh, system uh, inverter. So the, the idea is to measure the, uh, the loads to the grid and uh, to, to make it a set construction. Uh, so a, a zero feed in concept like uh, other competitors, for example. Um, the SEC 1000 is uh, um, an option that have integrated inside the three cities also and can connect um, the empty series, for example. You can have a rooftop with uh, 10 empty series and you put, uh, you connect to, through to the RS485 uh, connection and um, you monitoring and uh, is, is also a monitoring system inside because I uh, have a Z AZ Log Pro inside. This is a AZ Log Pro. And this is a smart meter integrated connected with cities. And uh, this is a AC connection inside and this is a measuring board of the SIG 1000 to manage together with inverter the um, self consumption. So, another uh, another function that we have in uh, internal law is uh, um, the other active power compensation. If you need um, a set, a special setting inside of the inverter, you can put the the cost fee and. Uh, um, the reactive power output change dynamically. So you have the possibility to change it uh, internal of, uh, of the display. For each inverter, you can uh, monitoring and uh, set, set up the cost fee inside of the, of the inverter. Another um, functionality that we have is also the emergency shutdown. For example, for a, um, safety, so fire safety or something that you need. So you have the possibility to switch off completely the old system with uh, the emergency shutdown. This is the same one, so it's not optional. It's uh, integrated on, on, all, on our, all our inverter. So um, the maximum uh, inverter, so you can, if you can put in series is 40 inverters. Uh, and the directive time of them is uh, 0 0.5 seconds, so we will speak about 5 milliseconds um, of all inverters. So, because all the, this technology is, is uh, integrated with, with the separate DSP. So, this one is also an option that we, uh, with, that we have. So, we are compatible with, uh, with DIVE. I don't know if you. If you if you notice, it's also in the the possibility to integrate. We are compatible with external generator, so with controllers inside. So with um, um, diesel generator, so integrating in a microgrid application. So in, the, in this case, you can use the empty series, approximately like uh, a hybrid system concept.
So we have we speak about uh, the internal communication, the external communication, and uh, I show you multiple scenarios. For example, the standard one for a single phase inverter is one for five wide communication. They are integrated in in the inverter, and you can connect it with uh, directly with the internet uh, Wi-Fi dongle, and uh, you send the data directly automatically. With, to the good report at the same spot. The other possibilities also is RS-485 communication through our uh, data logger. The name is uh, AZ Logger Pro. Um, the communication between the inverters and the uh, AZ Logger, so the data logger is uh, RS-485. So the distance uh, between the inverter is uh, Maximum 100 meter, so like the RS485 technology, max 60, 60 inverters are can connected to the Zeta Local Pro. The, the connection is plug and play, so and uh, also it's very very easy to install. And uh, for the stable connection and cable is uh, one of the most uh, important technology that we have. For large scale uh, inverters or large scale um, PV system, is the PLC communication. PLC is the power line communication, so the name is PLC. So um, the maximum communication distance is 1000 meter. The maximum inverters that can connect is uh, 40 inverters, and the name is uh, SCB 2000. So they don't need uh, cable installation, RS-485 uh, cable, but uh, you, you, you communicate throughout the AC line. This is a really big advantage because uh, it's a cheaper solution that you can use for the communication to, uh, so for the monitoring system. Um, also, with uh, this uh, option, the ACB2000, we have the possibility to communicate also with uh, optical fiber ring network, for example. And so, in the distance, you can more, uh, it's more longer, so up to 20 kilometers. So, it's uh, really for large scale systems, so solution that uh, have a lot of uh, PV system or large scale system, you can arrange with fiber optic compa components. Also, is this is optional? This is a ring network with SCB 1000, for example. It's also possible. This is a monitoring system, so you connect with the, the SCB 1000 with the inverter with through the RS 485 cable. But uh, to connect the uh, the all four system in this case, uh, you can connect with the fiber optic for single uh, SCB 1000. And uh, so you can go to the cloud, to the our SEMS portal directly from the monitoring system. Um, also for the single phase system, you have a LAN communication. So also with uh, uh, it's a dongle that you can connect directly with, with inverter, and you connect with a uh, with a router LAN router on site. Um, the communication and uh, solution, um, we are finished at the moment, okay. And we're starting now with um, our uh, portal software, AZ Designer. AZ Designer is uh, our, um, is a tool for is a dimensioning of the PV inverter, PV designer. Um, is our solution is uh, on, online on our uh, Goodwe portal. You can um, register and you can test it because it's so it's, uh, it's a good solution to to um, to check the the really design of the inverters and uh, PV system. Um, it's very easy, so it's very simple. In few minutes, you can 
really uh, starting uh, the design of uh, your PV system. So we spoke about the SEMS portal. SEMS portal is our monitoring uh, platform. The, this is also online. Um, we have the possibility to monitoring um, all PV system that you have. If you have more uh, and one, you can create also if you are, for example, installer that have um, a lot of PV system with the good B, you can also create an installer a platform where you monitor um, uh, all your PV system. You can register for the customer your PV plant inside of the SEMS and you have one platform for all PV system, for example. Um, on this uh, SEMS portal, you can um, uh, look on all, you can see uh, monitoring all parameters and uh, of the inverter and the PV system integrated in, the, in this portal. So the, theoretically, all PV system have to be connected to SEMS or single inverter also. So um, I think uh, I'm finished now. And um, I give the, the word to Walter. Yes, here I am. Okay, okay. thank you very much, uh, Alessandro. No, thank um, you. Give moment. me, yeah. Okay. Okay. You. Yeah. You can. So. Okay. You can see my presentation now. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Alessandro. Uh, Alessandro has given so far um, a lot of details about uh, the technical uh, uh, characteristic and the technical plus uh, of our MT series. So, you have seen uh, um, uh, all the capability you have to use our MT series uh, for uh, uh, the uh, installation of uh, PV system. Uh, we have seen also uh, the description on uh, uh, the technical uh, plus. Uh, uh, that uh, you can uh, have by using MT series in terms of uh, integrated protection uh, and the external capability uh, to, uh, let's say, improve uh, uh, the performance of your, your system. Now, let's go uh, briefly, uh, considering uh, what is uh, uh, our recommendation for the Greek market. So if we consider um, specifically uh, the Greek market, uh, we know that uh, the market uh, uh, is uh, largely dominated by 500 kilowatts uh, and multiple of 500 kilowatt installation. So according to our experience uh, uh, and according also to uh, the technical uh, um, specs of our inverters, what we do recommend uh, for the realization of a 500 kilowatt project is the use of uh, six 80K MT inverters uh, for the realization of 500 kilowatt uh, installation. By this solution, uh, you can easily cover all uh, the uh, electrical needs uh, of uh, your system. Um, the, eight, uh, the MT series uh, has the characteristic that uh, you can have up to 50% DC oversize uh, which means uh, with one MT inverter, you can drive up to 120 uh, kilowatt PV, which means uh, uh, if you use six inverters, 80 kilowatt each, nominally uh, you reach uh, 480 kilowatt, but basically you can uh, oversize the DC side even more. And thanks to the capability of AC side overloading up to 20%, this means that this configuration allows you to uh, very easily uh, manage uh, the installation by 500 kilowatt. 
it's clear that uh, just six uh, inverter is uh, an economic advantage for you. But uh, together with this, you should consider the capability of having six, 16 MPPT um, for uh, uh, each uh, uh, MT inverter has four MPPT. So uh, you can multiply this uh, in order uh, to uh, also manage a more complex configuration of uh, your design. Uh, for each uh, inverter, you have the capability of uh, using the four MPPT, four, sorry, four strings for each MPPT, meaning 16 uh, strings connected. And uh, uh, on each string, you can install up to 24 uh, PV modules with uh, an entrance voltage of uh, 1100 volt DC. So according to um, our experience, uh, uh, this is uh, um, the most logical configuration for the 500 kilowatt uh, uh, in the, uh, in the solution, but also, as I said, for multiple uh, realization. But I want to put also to your attention the possibility to decrease uh, uh, the number of MT inverter by one. So instead of using six, you can also use five uh, uh, inverters, which of course are big savings, from an economical point of view. And this configuration, as I said, uh, is supported by the capability of our MT series to have a 50% DC oversizing and 20% SC overload, which means also this configuration, uh, let's say from a, a planning point of view, is workable uh, to re the realization of 500 kilowatt uh, uh, solution. Uh, according to our experience uh, and according to the uh, PVC uh, simulation, you have the same performance ratio by using these two configurations. With six or with five, you get the same performance ratio. Of course, the difference between these two configurations is driven by the temperature. Uh, the highest temperature increases also uh, the rating of the system, even though our system are designed to work without the rating in the range minus 30 up to 50 degrees without derating, it's clear that when, once you want to consider this uh, configuration with just five MT inverters, then we have uh, to study together um, the profile of your uh, design in terms of external temperature. But anyway, as I said, this is the typical configuration we do recommend and we use already, but we also I want to consider this saving solution uh, to be uh, considered times by times according to the local uh, uh, temperature. It's clear that installation from northern of Greece up to deep south of Greece are different in terms of external temperature. So uh, we have to revise together. But uh, as I said, uh, Alessandro and Trifonas are uh, fully on your side to support you for this kind of uh, configuration. Now, let's go to revise uh, some references uh, about uh, uh, our project. Uh, the first one, which is uh, very important to us, is uh, this uh, installation of a 500 kilowatt realized in Exanti, which is in Greece, of course, where we have used the MT80. And uh, this is uh, some picture of this installation already done uh, last year. Uh, it's performing extremely well. You can ask uh, uh, Trifonas to share with you the production data, and uh, you can uh, really see uh, the very, very uh, interesting performance uh, of this uh, uh, configuration. Apart from this, uh, we have uh, plenty now of uh, other references all around the world. You can see this uh, uh, realization of this PV installation in China is 25 megahertz, very big. But what is interesting here, you can see how different are the orientation of the module? You see, you have several uh, orientation of the module as respect to the uh, sunlight uh, uh, irradiation. And uh, the fact that our system works uh, with the four MPPT for each, M for each MT machine, uh, it means that you can easily manage configuration so complicated like uh, the one here described. We have then uh, uh, 42.8 mega realized by our MT series, which is the largest installation uh, we have done far, but hopefully we will do even bigger in the future. Um, 
We have uh, another two mega as an example realized in South Korea. You see the, here the picture. Um, we have uh, four mega uh, installed uh, on the Bosch factory in India. It's remarkable the fact that uh, uh, such a, an important uh, customer like Bosch at the end selected our MT series inverter uh, to realize their uh, PV installation uh, on their factory in uh, India. Um, in India, just to mention, uh, we have uh, signed uh, an agreement last year by uh, 200 mega of MT uh, machine uh, with the Tata group. And the fact that our MT series is so successful in India, it's really an honor for us because uh, the um, temperature and humidity condition on the Indian market are really very, very uh, challenging. And so the fact that we signed this agreement by 200 mega with Tata Group for our MT series is really uh, an indication of the, of the extremely good performance of our MT series also in very complicated uh, ambiental uh, situation. Another interesting uh, reference uh, is uh, with the Siemens, uh, again in India, also Siemens choose uh, our MT inverter for the realization of a four mega uh, uh, PV plant on their factory in uh, India. Other six mega uh, in India again, uh, you see here uh, the MT series are uh, for outdoor installation, IP65, but again, uh, uh, this is another remarkable installation we have realized in India. In uh, coming to Europe, we have 10 mega realized in Holland uh, for ground installation, 11 mega again uh, in Holland, uh, six mega in uh, Turkey in uh, Istanbul, 16 mega in Istanbul, and this is the old series of our MT inverters. And uh, um, so just to give you um, some of the, a lot of references now we have all over the world with our MT series, and this is the larger installation, 18 mega realized in Europe, uh, in uh, Turkey, with our MT inverters. At the end uh, of our presentation, let me try to give you uh, the basic answer, uh, why choosing a good way? What are the reasons why uh, we think uh, choosing good way is a good choice for you? First of all, the full range of product. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning, we, our range of product starts from just 700 watt with the DXS series up to 80 kilowatt with the DMT series. But uh, if we consider also the new HT series, uh, which is uh, going to be launched on the market by the end of this year, we will arrive up to 250 kilowatt uh, uh, inverter. So the string inverter series is extremely wide. Anytime an installer uh, choose to work with us uh, and uh, get familiar with our uh, technology, he has no longer needs to look for other brands. In our range, he can find any answer to uh, his uh, uh, request uh, for specific uh, power of inverters. On top of this, uh, we have uh, nine different models for energy uh, storage uh, inverter. This is uh, a, a kind of application which uh, has not uh, uh, much developed uh, on the Greek market, but in other countries like uh, Germany and Italy, this is already uh, a major uh, type of installation. And also here, uh, Goodwill is offering nine different models to cover this. So again, we offer a full range of product, so any needs uh, by our customer can be covered by our range. Another reason why choosing a Goodwill, our production capacity, now is over eight giga. By end of the year, we will reach 12 giga. What does it mean? It means that any size of project uh, we can cover in terms of uh, capacity. We can deliver the, the directly from China in container load, or we can work through our centralized warehouse uh, based in Netherlands. But most of all, our partner like Hranich, they will have, uh, they have already have uh, their own uh, um, uh, warehouse with our inverters, so we are capable to respond uh, immediately, uh, everywhere, uh, immediate uh, supply with our inverter. Additional reason why choosing Goodwill, uh, we have 200 people in, re in uh, research and development. 
60 software engineers. What does it mean? It means that uh, we have over 130 patents deposited by us. So we develop any kind of solution based on our internal know-how. And as I always say, we are a company uh, open to get the input from the market. Anytime there is a specific need from one market for a specific product, thanks to our high R&D, we can develop a solution capable to cover these local needs. And this is also a big advantage. Our uh, test area is certified by two final, which means uh, that uh, internally we are equipped uh, with the uh, high level uh, capacity of testing. And this is uh, something which uh, confirms uh, the intrinsic uh, uh, quality of our uh, uh, service. Then, as uh, Alessandro mentioned before, we have our SAMS portal. This is an extremely uh, powerful uh, device which we give uh, free of uh, charge uh, available to our customer. By SAMS Postal, you can control, you can monitor in real time uh, all the data of your production of your uh, PV installation. You can, uh, you can uh, easily manage uh, the cumulative data. You can uh, make uh, analysis, statistic analysis. As you can see here as an example, if you follow uh, more than one uh, PV installation, you can combine all the information about the several plants on the same uh, screen. So it's really a powerful tool also for all uh, operation and maintenance activity. And uh, this device, this SAMS portal, is now used to control, uh, to monitor up to 400,000 installations all over the world. And finally, uh, what we say, we are an international player, Goodwe is an international company, which is present all over the world, but we have also a strong local presence. In Greece, I uh, just like to repeat, uh, we have uh, uh, Trifonas Pavlidis, which is our service partner, uh, which is uh, uh, based, of course, in Greece. Uh, he can provide you all his technical support for pre- and post-sales activity. We have Alessandro Fabio, uh, which is uh, working with our technical team in Munich, uh, which is available to provide you with any kind of information and support uh, for any kind of a problem you can face, uh, and uh, he is always available to support you. And finally, there is myself, of course, uh, which is uh, uh, supporting you for uh, commercial uh, and business development uh, topics. So, as I like to repeat, we are in Gudu is an international player, but with a strong local presence. At the end of my uh, and of Walter, our, Walter, sorry yes. to interrupt you. <laughs> Uh, the in the chat, a uh, customer is asking if you put the presentation on full screen, and another customer is asking how to reply to the questioner. So, so uh, yes, know. okay, so probably I made a mistake. Uh, no, but it should be already uh, full screen or not? No, it's what not. It? Ah, it's not. Sorry, oh, strange. Let me see which mistake I did. Let me try. I cannot share it. I don't know. Can you see it now? Uh, no. Just a second. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see now. It's full screen now? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Sorry, perfect. sorry perfect. for my mistake. Okay, so to, to answer the questioner, you can use the uh, Q&A, the chat, or you can uh, send uh, your answer uh, via mail uh, to our Kranich uh, partner, uh, so it's very easy. Uh, we will share a copy of this presentation uh, with the Kranich, which then can share it with you. So you can uh, uh, easily revise this presentation uh, uh, later on uh, uh, more easily. In case of any commercial or technical question, you can put this question uh, in the Q&A here and we can try to answer immediately to it. Or you can contact Kranich or ourselves by mail and then uh, we will give you 
at the answer. So coming to the questioner, uh, again, the answer can be given uh, through the Q&A or via mail. Uh, is not uh, is not uh, depending uh, on who will arrive first. Don't worry. So uh, as soon as as soon as we will get the answer, then we will make a kind uh, of bingo instruction. So uh, then we will select the winner of the first, second, and third prize. Now, uh, just to uh, arrive to the end of my presentation, the questioner is the following. So the first question is. When was Good We founded? As I said, we are celebrating 10 years of our activity. So the answer here should be quite easy for you. And then uh, another point is, what is the degree of protection for all inverters in the Good We range? Basically, uh, we say that our inverters are designed for outdoor uh, installation, apart from the fan in the MT series, uh, which is IP68, all the rest of the range has and uh, I don't give you the answer, but you should know it. Uh, in the string inverter, what is the lowest nominal power for the excess model? I mentioned it several times. Uh, so here again, the answers should be quite easy. For the string inverter, what is the highest rated power for the empty model? Have you seen uh, our technical data sheet? It's quite easy to answer here. And uh, for the 500 kilowatt project in Greece, how many 80k MT uh, inverters we do recommend to use? And I've shown you quite easily what is the answer here. So I leave uh, this uh, questionnaire uh, still uh, in presentation for a while. Let me see. I see a QA. Okay, I already uh, see some answers. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, that's perfect, <laughs> which means uh, uh, Costas uh, was uh, uh, put a lot of attention to our presentation, like Nikolaos uh, and Efterios. Thank you very much. Uh, really, thank you very much for your attention here. So as I said, uh, we will uh, extract uh, the three winners uh, later on. And uh, uh, thanking you for the attention you have put to this presentation. Uh, I... Um, uh, I, I'm, I want to uh, say again, sorry for some technical problem we faced uh, uh, in this presentation, but uh, let's say the coronavirus is uh, putting us uh, in, uh, in this situation, but uh, hopefully quite soon we will have the possibility to meet all of you face to face. This is our hope as soon as uh, the coronavirus restriction will be released, then uh, it will be possible to organize uh, this kind of training face-to-face -face directly on the Greek market. So I still leave for uh, one minute uh, the questioner online. Um, and uh, in case of uh, any question, as I said, just let us know. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your patience, for your attention. On behalf of also of Alessandro, thank you very much, Alessandro, for uh, your technical contribution uh, was uh, indeed uh, very, very interesting and very, very professional. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Georgia, for your uh, uh, support uh, also <laughs> to highlight uh, some uh, technical uh, problem that we faced. And uh, we are here ready to answer to all of your questions. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think uh, we gave enough time to uh, the attendees to follow, uh, also to answer our question. So uh, I just want to thank you again, all of you, for your attention and for your time. Uh, I thank you, Kranich, uh, for hosting this uh, presentation. We uh, end our presentation right now. Thank you again for everything. And as I said, we will share a copy of this presentation. And any question, just please uh, feel free to send uh, this question to us or to Kranich. We will be uh, um, open to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.